Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video, we successfully complete our total role code application, right? Here we successfully done it and also we successfully done that our permission before. And I have also inserted some of the permission in particular that area. Okay, like there is a type and for the type, there is another group group for the type group. I have used it for some of the permission as a type menu, all type, add type, edit type and delete type. Okay. And same is I have used it for the state. I have also used it for the agent. Okay, I have inserted some of the demo data right now. That is all the permission I want to do. I want to add it in our project. Okay, one by one, we have to actually add it. So our first job is we have to do, I have already created some of the rules, right? Now, all that our permission we have to do, we have to assign that things in our role area. So that will be our first job. So now let's do that work. For doing this in our sidebar, now I want to create another new menu. If you go to again, right now we don't need our edit, everything I want to close it. And now if you go to that our sidebar, into the sidebar I want to create another new menu. Okay, into the new menu I want to do, I will name it as a um, role. Okay, name it as a role, role in permission. This type of one of the menu I want to create. Okay, and for this one, I want to create another new route and I just named that route as add roles. Okay, add roles in permission, permission, great. Now this type of one of the route I want to create. So now if you want to create this route, we have to go to our web.php. So in our same, in our controller that I have already created as a role controller, but here I want to do, I want to create another new one. Sorry, that will be just like that same, but I copy it and here after that I want to paste it, okay? Now I want to name it, I name it as add roles permission. That will be as a add roles permission. I want to update, that will be as a add, okay, add role permission. This type of one of the route I want to create and that will be our URL as a add roles permission. Now I want to create another new method. I name it as a add role roles permission. Okay, now this type of one of the method, I want to create it in our role controller. Now if you go to that our role controller, so everything I'm actually using it in our same controller. Okay, here after that role, I better want to put some of the note for you. From here I want to add all that method that will be related to our add role. Okay, role permission, permission all method, okay, method. So now I want to put some of the note for you and here I want to create another new method that will be as a public and then function method name will be as a add role permission. Great, great. So here first job is we have to do, we have to return one of the view page. So I want to return one of the view return view will be in our backend into the backend the pages i want to now clear on the new folder i name it as a role setup okay role setup this type of one of the folder i want to create and here i want to clear on the new page as that will be as a add and role okay i name it as a add roles underscore permission permission okay now this type of, one of the page i want to create great and here I want to do, I want to pass all that our permission will be needed and also we will need all that our role. Okay, so for that reasons here I want to do, but I take one of the variable, I name it as a roles and now I want to access that our role model and from here I want to get all the data. I take the things with this variable and also I want to take another variable as a permission. Okay, I name it as a permissions and permission I want to access our permission model. Now by this model I want to do, I want to get all the data. Okay, I simply get all that our role data, I simply get all that our permission table data, I take both of this with our variable as a role and then permission. Now I want to pass all that our role data in our page. Here if you want to pass it, we have to pass it with the compact. Now with the compact method, I want to pass that our roles and also I want to pass that our permission. Okay, so I simply pass both of this. I hope friend everything is very clear. Now our next job is we have to create our folder name as a role setup. I copy it now in our pages. Okay, so into the pages folder now I want to create on the new folder as a role setup and here I want to create on the new file that will be as a add role permission. I want to click as a save as name it as a add roles permission dot blade dot php. 
okay one by one step by step everything will be more clear here that will be on the add type of page like from to the roles i want to copy that everything from our add roles okay copy it and now in our roles permission page i want to do and to paste it okay i simply paste it now that will be um i want to change that name i name it as add role okay add roles in permission now that will be as add roles in permission great and that is one of the form that is one of the input field okay here we don't need that our input field i want i want to do i want to load all that our roles right so here that will be on the select form select form i have already used it in our permission maybe Mm, if you go to that our all permission or add permission into the add permission you can see that will be same okay i want to better copy that select form only i copy it from to the add permission i copy it and now in our add role area here that will be not input field i want to paste it only now one will be enough because here we have to now load one of the for each loop right so i simply take one of the for each for each okay name it as a for each and that will be as an and for each okay that is our and for each i have already get all that our roles data you can see i have already get all that our roles data from to the role table i take the things with this variable in our compact method i pass it in our add roles permission page now with this we can actually display it i want to do i want to access that our variable name sorry here our variable name as a roles right i want to don't access it as a roles as okay as a role now by this role i want to do i want to display our role field name so if you want to display that role field name with this role i want to display our role field name as a name right so now our name should be display and also into the value area here i want to do i want to pass it our role table id okay so that is our role table id that means if you go and that is actually our role all that name name now that should be loaded and also in our value area i pass it our id that means our role table id great so now that should be display okay now also i want to don't update that our field name i just name that as a role okay role underscore id that will be also needed later and now i want to check it it's working or not if you now click as a save all and now i want to run that our php addition optimize now if you go to our admin and now want to refresh it now that should be another new menu if you go you can see that the new menu is available as a role in permission if you open it yes you can see it's not display as a role name and if you select it yes all that our role is now successfully loaded right great and also better want to do i want to take it um, full wide that means that will be as a 12 I make it as a 12 then that will be actually our full white click as a save all and now i want to refresh it hmm. now that is actually our full white all that our role is successfully visible great and here now we have to do we have to actually load all that our permission also so after that i want to do i want to load one of the check box if you go to our exercise file that is in our back end theme i want to open it uh, everything step by step will be very clear i want to load on the checkbox if you go to that our form basic element into the basic element you can see that is on the checkbox right so this type of one of the checkbox i want to load if you select it with the inspect okay here you can see that is a form check one of the two i want to simply make it as a edit html i want to copy it and now after that okay after that our selected role that is a dev is started dev is ended great here after that i want to paste it okay now that will be here i want to change that name i just simply name it okay i name it as a oh, permission all permission all so this type of one of the checkbox now that should be display if you now click as a save all now uh, if you want to do and to refresh it Hmm. you can see now that is display or permission all great so now friend here i want to do i want to get all that our permission and also i want to get this permission by the um, group okay here if you go i have already inserted some of the demo data and you can see they have the so many data in particular that area so now by this name i want to do want to get it as a group by all that our permission so our group name should be display and also this group related all that our permission that will be display in here okay 
so after that now we have to work better i want to continue this process in our next video step by step i will show you everything with the live example so thanks for watching i will see you in the next video